Before we start with the purpose of today's video guys, let me just remind you that on September the 19th is the reveal of the future of Call of Duty Esports. The fact that we have a dedicated event for Esports shows there is going to be some big changes and I can't tell you how excited I am for this. I am sure that they are going to announce some pretty exciting things such as 5v5 and the layout of events for the next year as well as the prize pool we can expect. I think we can expect to see more CWL leagues in different countries and hopefully a more refined structure to how players and teams can work their way up to the Pro League. And if this is the year CWL gets franchised like Overwatch, I'm sure they will tell us here at this event as well if it does get moved to PC. However, I will be extremely surprised if they do move it to PC as I think it is far too risky move for COD Esports and I just wouldn't want to see that especially at such short notice. Other things that I hope they announce is the game modes that will be played. I would like to see them announce the map rotation, but I think that would be too early, especially as we haven't seen all the maps yet. And I think if they're allowing anything goes, we can expect to see the pick and ban system return from Black Ops 3 as well. I wouldn't be surprised if they are going to put a bigger emphasis on league play, as well as any other big changes that they have made, I would expect them to talk about that also. I think that they are going to do a demo series, probably a 5v5 of random pros, maybe a North American versus European all-star game to showcase how the game will be played in the next year. I think that would be very interesting and I am very excited for this date. Remember guys, September the 19th, this reveal, I think it is going to be very exciting for anyone interested in Call of Duty Esports. Anyway, let's get on with the actual purpose of this video, what is how to learn from the pros. So, Call of Duty Champs has just finished, and what an event that has been. The $1.5 million event that crowns four players as the best players in the world. Now, I know a lot of Call of Duty players have different opinions on the pros. Some people just straight up hate them. They feel that they have far too much influence on the game and that they aren't even very good at the game and that anyone can beat them in hardcore mode or team deathmatch or even their beloved pub stomping YouTubers are far better than the official pro players. Whatever your opinion is on the pro player community, I think we can all agree that the game the pros play is different to what ordinary people like you and I play. The pros rely on teamwork and focus on the objective and use limited class setups as we play 6v6 what's a lot more hectic and anything goes and matchmaking skill level ranges from no brain and no thumbs to a 14 year old cracked out of their mind on Mountain Dew who plays 12 hours a day every day and doesn't miss a single bullet on like 14 sensitivity. However, even though the game is completely different, in my opinion, I firmly believe, in general, the pros in the CWL are the most skilled players in the game. And I mean that they have the best gun skill and the best understanding on how to play Call of Duty. So, what can you learn from the pros? We can't argue that they are super talented and work hard, so what can we learn from these esports superstars to help change our game to make us better players? I have five key points on why you should watch and learn from these pro players. Number one, the meta. For those of you that don't know what meta means, it's most effective tactic available. So the pros will always and very easily find and develop the meta and show us what they consider to be the best guns with the best setups. Very often these setups are easily transferable to public matches. Now, are trophy systems and smokes as effective as they are in pro matches? Of course not, but the guns and the attachments they use are. There is a reason why the pros use the PPSH and the STG. And it is also the reason why we see so many more PPSHs than the MP40s and more STGs than the Volks. It's because we see the best players in the world using them. So they must be good, right? Number two, map exploitations. I have watched the pros all year and even halfway through, I'll watch them go into certain spots that provide amazing line of sights. And it makes me feel so stupid that I never knew that before. 
The pros are very good at finding these best power spots, the best sneaky spots, the best places for line of sights for snipers and assault rifles, and best nade spots for search and destroy. It is amazing at what little things that you can learn from the pros that you never knew just playing by yourself. They also show you what walls you can shoot through to kill the enemy. It is just insane to me at how you can watch the pros and just learn so much. Number three is quality of life tips and just simple tips and tricks. Now, apart from learning the map, there are also little things that can help you improve your game, like in World War II, doing the melee action before climbing a ladder or diving will allow you to ready your gun up a little faster than if you didn't. In other titles, and something we are going to see in Black Ops 4, is the amount of obstacles we can use to slide boost around the map. If you don't know what I mean by this, in Black Ops 3 and in the Black Ops 4 beta, if you jump on a rail and then do the slide action at the same time as you're about to land on that rail, you'll get a small boost in movement speed. This will allow you to get around the map just a little faster than your opponent, will allow you to get in a better position and catch them off guard. Little things like this that the pros do all the time if we watch them is just going to help you have a massive advantage when you play in normal public matches. Number 4 is Objective Mode Tactics. The pros know all the best hardpoint rotations and anchor locations, best ways to push certain hardpoints, and then other game modes like CTF, they know how to best push up the map on CTF, they know some very good tactics on Search and Destroy, however World War 2 Search and Destroy has lacked a lot of strategy this year as the pros haven't been able to practice it as much, but also other game modes like Uplink, when Uplink was a competitive game mode in jetpacks, we saw a lot of creative throwing spots and running routes that we could use to get easy points. Number 5 is aiming tips and winning gunfights. Generally, I think it is very hard to improve your aim just by watching someone play. That's why when I make my tip videos, I try and use certain overlays and try and use different ways of explaining how I can best help you to improve your aim and win in gunfights. Because when you're just watching someone play, it's very hard to see what they are doing differently to you and how they think and act in certain situations than you do. However, if you watch the pros, carefully and closely, you will pick up certain patterns and characteristics that all the best players do. For example, how they move around the map, the pace that they move at, the corners that they check, how often they pre-aim and where they pre-aim, the excellent centering that they do constantly, when they jump shot, when they drop shot, when they reload, literally everything, everything that these pro players do is done correctly or just to the best of their ability. So you can see and learn from it. Just spotting what they do differently and how you can implement it into your game should help you improve significantly. Anyway guys, those are my five tips on how to learn from the pros so you can improve at the game and become a better player. Now, I'm Tiger, and I make lots of Call of Duty tips and tutorial videos, and if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, consider subscribing and turning on the notification button to stay updated on all my latest content. Also, if you want personal Call of Duty coaching, on my Patreon page, I do two live streams a month, where for $5 a month, you get to send in your gameplay to me, and I will review them in a private live stream just for you patrons. Also, if I'm reviewing your individual gameplay, you have the opportunity to join me in a Skype chat and we get to go through your gameplay together to help you improve as much as possible. But anyway, that's all from me today guys. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.